We are dead excited. We are genuinely dead excited. We have just received these. A load of these. Now, I have spent considerable time designing and paying tooling and developing this. So I'm kind of hoping that people will like these. So what is it? Let's have a look. Hmm. Don't damage it opening it with a knife. I'll have to check we've packed it in such a way that people won't... As I say, we literally, this is the first one we've opened. First thing we sell. So what have we got? We've got some... Some foam packing. Foam packing's good, it protects the products, but we'll, we'll need to try and improve this, Tyler, because it's not good for the environment, is yeah. it? The single-use packaging. So we'll need to have a word with them about that. Right, here we go. What have we got, what have we got Tyler? So, we should have here, and we're going to do a video on how to fit this. This is for the Range Rover Sport L494, this badger here. Right, this is an LED illumination strip that is going to go in the back here. So this is going to replace this black gloss one. You may have silver gloss. And we've embedded a, a light in here. And we have had these made to our own design. So it's going to add a little bit of a spoiler look. Because this one's quite straight down. But to get all the lights in, we've had to create this little edge on here. But it's gonna retain all your original number plate light, all your original switches, camera, all that's gonna be the same, and it's gonna go in. Now, one thing we haven't done is the clips, so we're gonna have to, right, let's get on with it, Tyler. We got wires, we got all sorts, let's get it in. We just gotta get this done, right. Right, so what you gotta do, you gotta remove your old one. Now, bomb, so let's open the bonnet. Boot, I don't even know my... Where's the keys, Tyler? You've hidden the keys. We flash. We got the <laughs> auto boot. I don't think they all had that option. Right. So if, you, if you've got that, nah, now nah, this is going to be different, yeah. Because if you haven't got the automatic boot, because one thing you can do with the automatic boot is you can gently just pull it down, and it will stay at the level. Right. So we are going to take this out now. Right, which end we start at? That end, Tyler. So I haven't got my mask on, so you'll have to keep away from me. Right, so there we go. So you can get in here gently, and you can. Now, yours may be harder than mine. Now, right, let me put my mask on. Now, Tyler will show you that it gets very narrow in this corner here. Right, so you've got to be careful. Don't just pull, because it, it will flex here. And you can sell these, these are worth money, especially if you've got a black one, because a lot of people with the silver ones want to upgrade to the black ones. Top tip. Top tip. Look after the pennies, Tyler, isn't it? Right, so you want to try and get close. There you go. So we'll have a, I'll, have a, I'll show you where it can break. Not by breaking it, I hope. Right, do we go from the other side? Or we keep going from this one. Right, so so there it is, but you can see that it, it, it will break around here if you pull it too much because it's very narrow there and likewise at that end it will pull. So try and, you've got to get these first two clips off. Now, sometimes it will come off with the clips. Now we need the clips. So that one's come off mainly with the clips. Sometimes you'll get a couple of clips. It looks like we've got one left in there, doesn't it, Tyler? I'm on there. One there. Now what we will do is we've got these small clips so we'll kit up a couple of small clips with these, won't we, Tyler? Yeah. We've got the big clips, but I think the big clips will be okay, but we'll put the part number in the description below. And if it becomes a problem, let us know, and we will add those into the kit. It's only a couple. Right. So first thing we've got to do is swap these clips over. You don't want to watch me do all of this. Right. So you're going to have to get a little screwdriver just in there, and that should just ease those off. Because it's got those little clips that grip on the inside there. Can you see those, Tyler? Just these little bits here. You've got, yeah. to, just, you've got to like spread them. There we go. Right, so we'll get all those clips off. And I think it's much the same. They're just like the same but little baby versions. Yeah. They're really cute, aren't they? Little brother. We know these clips, though, don't we? we <laughs> Tyler's got history with these. Yeah. Defender clips. Defender. They're the ones you drop down the drain, aren't they, yeah. Tyler? Yeah. These ones seem nicer, though. 
This is more friendly today. Yeah. Got a better attitude. Yeah. I think they're the same clip, Tyler. I know. <laughs> right, let's get these off. Right, so when you've got the clips off, you've got to just put those on. And these little ones go on. On here. There you go. They click in nice, don't they? I think some of these clips have lost their mojo a bit. Right, so once we've got it all, right, one thing to note, if you don't have a camera, now I think most of the Range Rover Sports have a camera, but if you've got a model without a rear camera, we are going to list these with this blanking plate. So this has got our branding on it, and that will fit in there. We've got it so it, it slots in there. So just have a look at your car, and then when you open up that, that's got our branding in there. Um, so there you go, so you will need a camera blank if you don't have a camera, right. So, obviously this has got electrical functionality. So, we have a series of wires here. Now, I will put the wiring diagram on, but we have got, we have got four wires. Now I can't remember what these do, so we will do that. We'll put the little label on the line on, on the screen now, um, so you can see what each, color wire does. Now, you may not want all functions. So obviously you're gonna have tail and brake, um, earth and I think positive light. So I think that's what they are. So there's earth and permanent positive, then tail light and brake light. Now, I'm not sure which ones we're gonna to connect today, but we'll have a go. Right, now, you obviously need to get the electrical signals into here. So. You are gonna have to put a small hole in your car, and if you look where we put it, we put the exit here next to this flat area here, right? But before we do that, we're gonna take the inner panel off so I can show you. Right, okay. Right, so the tailgate on the Range Rover L494 is quite interesting because most of it is all one piece. This is a trim panels that go on here. This is all actually part of the plastic structure of the tailgate. The only panel we've got that we can remove is this lovely fluffy carpeted panel here. So now, let's start this. Oh, my funky interior lights coming on, Tyler. Now we, have to be, we may have to be careful with these because there'll be some wires connecting these. Um, but let me see if we can just pull this panel slowly. Can I get to that connector now? We can just pop those out. There's a little button you've got to press on there. That's our funky lights, right? Now, let's have a look at the clip technology we've got. Tyler. Now yours will be a lot more fierce than this because this one has been off a couple of times. There we go. Oh, can't get my finger in. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got two lights. And then we have this panel here, which has got lots of these clips on it. They look quite new, don't they, Ty? Yeah, nice. And they do look nice. And that was holding up there. So, so there we go. That's easy enough to remove. You might feel like you're breaking something. And Tyler, can you put the part numbers for these as well in the description? Yeah. So that in case any of these break, we've got the part numbers and people can get those. Um, right. Okay, let's, let's have a look what's going on up in here, Tyler. Tyler, take a seat. So, we are gonna try and come through. Now, I believe we will see when we get the hole, but I believe we've, we've designed it where it's an area close to here where we can get good access to get them through. And then we are gonna try and tap into some connections on here. I think this is the one here. That we're going to go into this is where I so, so we're going to go into these two wires here um, to tap in to give us our signals right so I think we're ready to drill Tyler right we are going to drill the hole in the middle of this area here it doesn't have to be exactly precise we're going to go in the middle of that make it oh, that's made a good dent and then we'll, we'll be pros shall we Tyler We'll drill a pilot hole, just be careful as you go through. Okay, 
we'll have a check. I don't think there's any wires in the immediate vicinity behind here. We've got no electrics in this area, so we're pretty good. We'll have a look when we've got the big hole through. Now, unfortunately, there's a limited amount I can practice with. <laughs> if I'd have already drilled this, we wouldn't be able to show you us drilling it. So forgive us as we, as you join the journey of discovery with us. Okay. That's so, a 10 mil. 10 mil, which should bit. suit the grommet. So we've got a grommet we've got to get through. Right then, Tyler. That all looks good, doesn't it? Get I love drilling dr 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 holes in the Range Rover. So, right. So we're not going to get any corrosion problems, okay? Because this is plastic we're drilling into, right? So we're not too worried about corrosion. We can't see it. We can put the car back to standard. And we can also put seal. And it's also relatively out of the weather here. So we're, we're not too worried. But if you're worried, don't fit it. <laughs> right then. Okay, so now we've got to... Now I'm just going to take these up a little bit, Tyler. Because we've got to get them yeah. through. And trying to get them through like that is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Right, I've put the tailgate level-ish and I'm hoping that I can balance this gently on there so I'm not worried about that. And then what I've got to try and do, the hole on the inner panel is further along here. So I've got it, and you, you shine a light, we just did it, you can see it. So I'm just gonna fire it that way as much as I can. Right, it's a bit tricky to get this wire through. So we've used a bit of old coat hanger type material. and. It is fairly straight. I mean, that is now going through. If you want to jump inside, Tyler, you can see. There we go. It, it's coming out. It's coming out there. So it's it's a fairly straight run. So right. So we're going to take that on there now and pull that. So let's we'll tape it on and, and you can join us as we pull it through. Right. Let's have a go. Tyler's done a fairly shoddy job of taping the two together for me. Yeah, let's have a look. Be having it. Whoa, look at that. There we go. Right, so I'm quite keen now, Tyler, to get that. Oh, where's that bit of sheath coming? Well, I'm quite keen to get this on and fitted so yeah. that we can just mess about inside now, right? Right, so let's grab that. And we've got to keep get that grommet. To, yeah, we've got to get the grommet in. So it's a combination of pulling that there. And then we've got just enough length to get that grommet in. You should be able to just about. Oh, I'm loving this electric tail, You should just be able to fight that grommet into place there. I think we might just need a screw. He's nearly in, isn't he? We just use a screwdriver on the last bit. So obviously be careful. You might want to put masking tape on the car here because as I'm doing this, I, I don't want to scratch the paintwork there. But we can just, there we go. Right, that's all sweet. Right, now we don't want to get these wires trapped. So there's plenty of room. Let's just make sure they go sideways. Make sure all this lines up. Okay, right. So there we go. We've got the whole strip fitted now. So we've done the mechanical work. We've just got to now get the electrical work done. But you can see there all the number plate lights, the camera, everything all lines up properly. Right. Right, you join us sat in the back of the Range Rover Sport. So this is the main rear door module here. And these two connections here are positive and negative. I don't know if you can quite see. But the top one, as we look at it, is negative, And the bottom one is positive. You can see where I've connected on these before. So let's connect the negative on first. So, which is the black. Now, we've rooted the cable sort of tidily around here. We've used these other cables and we will supply the kit with a few little cable ties because you don't want it rattling around stressing stressing everything but there we go we'll get a couple i'll put one on there in a minute but let's get the so this one here has to come up onto that 
There, so let's get that nice and neat. Nice and negative. Alright, and then we are going to use... Now you could do an, a super job and solder it and heat shrink. I know there's some guys out there. We're going to use the scotch blocks, which are effective. Alright, so let's go... Alright, so that... So there's two... There's two... Two little... Let me just show people these if you haven't done them before. You've got two... Two little barrels there, like a double barrel shotgun. And we're going to put one wire passing all the way through. And then this little guillotine's going to chomp down. And we're going to put the second wire in. And it will join the two together. So let's have a go. So we've got that one there. I need some pliers when I've got some pliers. Thank you, Tyler. Right. So I'm going to come up with the second wire through the hole. Now, I don't really want it poking out the top. Because it could... It will have a little exposed bit. So I'm going to... Just pull it back a fraction, and then I'm going to crush it. Crush it. Okay, now that will have formed an electrical join, and then you bring this little one over here, and that forms a little cover. So, there we go. That's the one done. I had the tape, because this was from my experimental days. You won't have tape on yours. Right, then. Have another go. So you have to open them up a little bit. There you go, not too much. Mm. Mm. Right. Okay. right, and then this one we need the white cable for, don't we, Tyler? Yep. Nice white cable. is positive. White is positive. Right. Again, I don't want it out the top of that. You just close him up a bit. Just close it up a bit first. There we go. That's it. He's only just, but he shouldn't get into any trouble there. Make sure that clips over. So that should be my positive and negative connect. All right, now the next wire is the green. Okay, now the green is what is going to come on with your tail light. And this goes to this little connector here. Let me see if I can unclip this connector, Tyler. Because it's like a bit more room to manoeuvre. Oh, so he's just done a little... He's just done a little barbed connector there. So if you un... See there, he's got those two positions. So that will give us a little bit more room. All right, and the one we're after here, judging by the mess I've made before, is we're trying to connect on to the red one. So the red one, I believe, is the tail, is the tail light. So these, this connector goes to your LED number plate light. So whenever your lights come on, that's going to power up. Okay, so these, let's get this. Now you have to be careful with these because these are quite thin. We're in danger of cutting these in half. But I think they, I think there's a V, it's hard to see. Oh, let's take one apart, Tyler. Let's have a look. We love taking things apart. Yeah, so they, you see how they've got like a V on the front, Tyler? So if you've got, it guides it in to the, to the section before it. Yeah. So it should it reduce it. the chance of just guillotining through the wire. It should guide it into the middle. There we go, no one will ever know we've been there. <laughs> right then, so let's get that over. My poor car tire gets taken apart. And oh, it's going to look nice uh, after this. Like flash. Come on, come on, in you go, in you go. Yeah, it's, it's one of a kind. It's much easier to do it when it's um when it's just a piece of wire rather than a a bit where I've stripped it to test it. Right, let me get the second one through there. There we go. Right, now this one here is going to be the subject of another video. This is the brake wire. So I suggest you just we Now, I'll explain. Right, let's get out the car. We can test it and I can do some explaining. Right, we are in the dark. We are all ready for the big reveal. Now, we, we just test. We're going to come clean up with Tyler. We use those scotch blocks, but one of them didn't work. So scotch blocks are sort of great, um, but particularly on those thin, that thin wire, 
you do need to be careful. So, um, right, anyway, so this is now working. Here goes, here's the big reveal. So power up, you can do the talking tyler. So there it is fading on. And here we go, off. See that again? Yeah, I'll do it closer. On. Off. So we haven't connected the brake light yet. We haven't connected the brake light yet, but we'll do that um, another time. Right, the problem with the brake light is you've got to come in, the problem, the challenge. We've got to come up, we've got to come up through the thing. Then we've got to take the spoiler off and we've got to connect in to the wires at the top. So I think for most people, that is going to be enough. Let's do it one more time in the daylight, Tyler. Um, and notice how it matches up. If you've got these later lights, the sort of line comes around and forms a continuation. There we go. Right, so we will get those on the website as quick as we can. We've tried to match the red as close as we can to the standard colour on the later light. So there we go, Range Rover Sport. What are we going to call it, Tyler? Oh, that's the exciting The zoob light thing. Tailgate strip. Strip. Illumination. Sci-fi sci badass. Yeah, so we're, we're quite pleased with that. Um, you know, it's also get a side view, Tyler, and see how it's got almost like a little sort of spoiler lip edge to it so there we go it's not only porsches that can have fun is it tyler we can do illumination as well us range rover owners right good luck with that right tyler's decided you need to see what it looks like outside because it's a bit any excuse to drive my v8 go on then tyler right then. Right, it's a bit noisy outside, so I'm not going to talk. But here we go. Let's have a let's go round the front and take a look. Turn it on again. Lights on. Zoom. 